Uh, welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. Uh, we are back with a brilliant Ghost of Tsushima on the PlayStation 5. And we are playing through this game on hard mode. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in the previous video, we had a chat with Fune, and she told us that the Eagle has taken all of her main forces out of Fort Sakai, and now would be a perfect time for us to take over it. So we went into Fort Sakai and we rescued many, many raiders who agreed to work with me. And together, we all took over Fort Sakai and Fort Sakai now belongs to us. So what we need to do now is we need to head back to the raiders camp, let Fune know that we've taken over Fort Sakai and find out what we're going to do next. Because we feel like maybe Fort Sakai being left open, as defenceless as it was, it may have been part of the Eagle's plan or something. So we need to have a chat with Funai and find out what's going to happen next. And as a reward for taking over Fort Sakai, we also got some saddlebags for our horse. Which I think is very similar to Red Dead Redemption 2, if I remember correctly. Because I think in that game, you could store a bunch of ammunition inside your horse's pouches in Red Dead Redemption 2. I think you could do that, or it may have been another game. But you can now do it with arrows and stuff in Ghost of Tsushima, which is a very, very nice touch. Especially if you're like me and love using arrows. But yeah, what we're going to do is... Oh man, look how adorable Sora is. I absolutely love Sora. Look at those saddlebags as well. They look amazing, don't they? What are you doing, mate? You listening? You got your? He must have his uh, his um, AirPods in. You got your AirPods in, Sora? Listening to a bit of music, are we? He's little, doing a little boogie. <laughs> but yeah, um, those saddlebags look amazing. Must be listening to some uh, Shakira or something, <laughs> or a bit of a nod your head by Will Smith. All right, I'm talking too much. Let's head back to the Raiders camp. Okay. I think what we'll do is, I think in this video, we'll speak to Fune, and I think it might lead straight into another mission. I don't think you have a choice to do anything else. But once that mission is done, probably in the next video, I think we might maybe do one of these mythic towels or something. So I'm going to do both of these on YouTube. And maybe we will even go back to Tsushima and maybe do some of the other ones that I missed. Because I think there's a few I didn't do um, on YouTube last year. Yeah. Yeah, there's quite a few actually. Yeah, these ones are all on uh, Tsushima, and these two are on the island of Iki. Yeah. I think. Alright, never mind. Let's uh, fast travel back. There's also the fight club inside. Oh, it's called Fune's Refuge. I thought it was the Raiders' camp for some reason. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> but in Fune's Refuge, there's also the fight club where you can do a bunch of fights with other people. Maybe we'll do that in a video as well. Why is it always bloody raining in this game? What do you think of my... Oh. Oh. I was going to say, what do you think of my music? But apparently we can speak to him. Don't hurt my son! Stop! Please! The father and his baby. Both of them. Huddled together. No shit. If you find yourself near Zasho Bay, I hear you can take shelter among the ship wreckage that's washed ashore. I'll keep that in mind. Are others gathering there? A few. They're hiding out from the Mongols and trading stories about the Sakai invasion. The Sakai invasion. I'd like to hear one of these stories. Map updated. Rumored location added. Oh, oh sweet. Oh, look at that, Sakai horse armor. All right, maybe we will, I don't know, maybe we'll do this in, I don't know, we'll do it at some point in this playthrough because we definitely need to get the Sakai horse armor for Sora because Sora's going to look absolutely legendary. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. Your horse can't die in this game, can it? I don't remember. Like, obviously, it, it does die in the main story, but I mean, like, it can't be killed in combat, can it? Or if it dies, it comes back later. I think it can die, but then when you call it back, it just, you know, it's randomly alive again, possibly. It's just, like, inactive for a few minutes or something like that. And I think it can, like, properly die. Oh, oh, I'm being spoken about. 
It's nice to be spoken about positively. Ah, <laughs> oh, these are all people that have been affected by the eagle's poison. Look at that cow! What a beautiful cow! Look at the horns! Oh, mate! Why can't we ride this into battle? Imagine this running towards you. It'd absolutely fuck you up, wouldn't it? Oh, man, I love animals. I really love animals. Ah, oh, we're not speaking to you. We, we ain't got time for that. Look at our banners. Yeah, yeah. Let me, uh... Did you just grunt at me? <laughs> What's that? Oh, sticky bomb. When your inventory is full, excess ammo... Oh, I already know that. What are you telling me that for? I found that out in the previous video. We really need to start using more of the bombs. Is Fune up there? Yeah. I like these uh, banners that they've made. Very nice. Now that I know this is called Fune's Refuge, I might need to change the video title of one of my videos now, because I called it the Raiders Camp. <laughs> Just checking I actually pressed record. Alright Fune, I am back, and you are going to be very happy with me. Jean from Yarikawa. You outdid yourself this time. Thank you. I am quite the beast. I did die a few times on the jewel though, so I didn't do very, very well, but I did somewhat well. My men returned safely, and Fort Sakai is in our hands. We finally have a fighting chance against the Eagle. Any news on her whereabouts? Not yet, but I did learn something. While you were busy, my scouts recovered orders the Eagle sent to her shamans. It sounds like she wants to capture a samurai. Did she name them? No, but I think we can guess who she's hunting. What I want to know is, why does she want to take you in alive? The eagle captured me when I first arrived. I escaped, but maybe she wants to finish what she started. What aren't you telling me, samurai? Fune, Jin, we were searching for the eagle. Lost her, but then we stumbled on one of her patrols. Tracked them all the way back here. The cliffs outside are crawling with Mongols. We had to sneak back in to avoid being seen. The Eagle knows we're close. She's going to find us. Hmm. She's retaliating. This is payback for her warship. And the death of her lapdog, Kumbish. We can evacuate to the ship. Abandon your home now and you'll lose it forever. You'd rather die here? We could draw them away from the refuge. Fight them on land. They outnumber us. So do the samurai. You know the terrain better. What about an ambush? Somewhere we have the advantage. Either for the village. We have a plan? Round everyone up, Tenzo. We need to go now. I sent scouts ahead of us. They'll lure the Eagle's forces to Kidafre village. I've got people preparing an ambush. What about the people who live there? It was abandoned after the butcher of Iki destroyed it. Your father put the entire village to the sword, and you did nothing to stop him. The lookout tower. We got a good view up there. Our scouts will lure the Mongols here. We can't be sure where exactly they'll come from. Get people in the most likely places. A few of us on horses can hold back. And respond where we're needed. Like stopping a wildfire. Alright. <laughs> this, this bit, I mean, it's not supposed to be funny, but whilst you're doing this mission, because this is a village where the butcherer of Iki, aka Jin's father, this is where he just butchered a bunch of villagers because I think they were hiding uh, raiders in their homes and stuff, so he butchered everybody. So obviously, Jin's got a lot of memories of this place. So uh, whilst you're doing this mission, you get quite a lot of the uh, the flashbacks from the eagle. And even though they're not supposed to be funny, it's just hilarious because the, the stuff she says, how quickly she pops up uh, and just makes a comment about things is just funny. It's not supposed to be funny, but I just find it funny. It's just how quickly she says something. It'd be like, it, it could be something like Tenzo would say, oh, this is where a child always likes to play with their pony, and then she'll quickly pop and go, and then your then your father cut off his head. <laughs> it's just stuff like that. It just makes it funny. It's not supposed to be, but oh, it's brilliant. All right, so what we've done? Where should we position the men? I guess I need to pick. 
So uh, what's happened is we've lured all of, the, uh, all of the Mongols to this area right here so they don't find Fune's refuge. So we've lured them all here instead. So uh, now we need to plan our uh, ambush on them. Place them among your father's innocent victims. See? Tree line. Station people there to keep watch. If they see something, they can signal us with those fireworks we took from the ship. Uh, set them off the moment your people see the invaders. Then we ride in. Okay, so we're going to use fireworks to signal when uh, we need to rush in and help. Mm. Hide people in those houses and granaries. Where your father's victims hid. Terrified and weeping. And if the Mongols don't get close? Riders ready to hit their flank. Force them in range. Oh, fuck it. Oh, the eagle is such an arsehole, isn't she? What an arsehole. Man, I feel real sorry for Jin. Oh, man. What would you do there? The moment the villagers saw your father's men approach, they knew they were doomed. That was where they fell back. What? Who fell back? Uh, where we could fall back. If we're overwhelmed. We'll reinforce it with whatever we can throw together. Get everyone in position. We'll hang back for now. They don't know the horror your father inflicted here. The horror you failed to prevent. Ride to your posts. Signal when you spot the invaders. You said that was where they fell back. You were here. When your father massacred the village. It wasn't a massacre. What do you call armed men slaughtering an unarmed village? A village hiding armed fighters. And their families. The people who lived here ambushed our patrols. Set traps that maimed and killed our warriors. Slit their throats while they slept. What did you expect? You came here to kill us! A friend of mine grew up in this village. After the summer I left, I found his body. But it took me a week to find his head in all the mud. I'm sorry, Tenzo. <laughs> You're sorry. Do you have any idea what it's like? To find your friend like that. Do you know how many lives your father destroyed? Too many. If I could change that, I would. But you didn't. Others had to end his cruelty. And I watched him die. I could have saved him. But I didn't. Why not? They're here. Get to the horses. They're coming. Get ready. They're attacking! You know, uh, one thing I will say is actually Jin has seen something like that because our friend Tucker in the main story has his head cut off in front of us by uh, Kotun Khan, didn't he? I think it was Kotun Khan that did it. I'm probably saying his name wrong. The Khan, pretty much. Uh, a, rel a relative of uh, Genghis Khan, you know, that person that many of you know about in real life, Genghis Khan. Absolute fucking war criminal. Took over tons of, like, China, didn't he? He was basically like Stalin and Hitler, really. How they set the fireworks off then? If the Mongols overrun us, we'll fall back here. The group will stay to bolster these defenses. Fighting on the side of your father's killers. What would he say? <laughs> just, just fuck off, Eagle, please. Oh yeah, it's fireworks over there. And in that little area back there. That's where we fall back to if we get overwhelmed. Oh, quick! Uh, quick! Shit, what's the button? Sorry if you heard my phone then. Fuck! It's annoying that you have to hit them head on with explosive arrows. That's very annoying, ain't it? Ah! How did you live? Oh, sweet. 
It's clobbering time. Who says that it's clobbering time? Is it? Is it the thing from Fantastic Four or is it the Hulk? Who says that? It's clobbering time. I can't even remember that. Someone in the comments is probably getting really mad with me now. Most likely my sister's going to tell me who it is because my sister just loves to correct me. She flipping loves it. She just waits for me to say something wrong. Now look at Fune going ape shit. She's kicking ass. Sweet. That was sexy. Where? Boof! Poor guy. Got fucking ruined. Right, I better switch over to wind stance. There you go. Just make sure you get these shamans down quickly, because the, the buff that they give to their friends is insane. Oh, you cheeky little shit. Oh, look at that. Pressing triangle and circle. Oh, sorry, mate. He's on our team. <laughs> oh, man. Fune's going to definitely kick me out of the team in a minute. Let you hear a laugh, then. Let you hear someone laugh, then, when I swiped him. All of them. <laughs> Easy pickings, right, Jim? Yes. Good start. I like how we was arguing a minute ago, and now he's making jokes with me. More Mongols on the way. Mount up. Let's go. Your ammo refills automatically. I already know. She's enjoying herself, remembering how they slaughtered the Samu. <laughs> Fucking eagle. Man, I cannot wait to kill the eagle. Quickly. Let's ready a welcome for the bombs. Oh actually, quick, quick, get upstairs. Upstairs. That was close. Yeah, we could just snipe everybody up here. I think mean, there's a pile of arrows next to me as well. It's very hard to like differ, differentiate between the bloody goodies and baddies, isn't it? Because like, we don't have like a very prominent colour to know that I'm not shooting my own boys. I don't want to shoot that yet because I think some more are going to come soon. Oh, look at that. They took his defense. Oh, here we go. Quick. I don't think we killed anyone then. I see two shamans though. I see one of their staffs like hanging over the side of that cliff. Oh, there they are. Oh, right in the lung. Right in the shoulder. He's very determined to do his helicopter attack. A two shots and he wouldn't stop doing it. Feel like Legolas. I wish they'd make new Lord of the Rings games like they made on the PS2. Those games were amazing. Don't know if you guys and girls ever played them. All three of them were phenomenal. Make sure you play them. Especially the Two Towers. That game was sublime. I played that a lot with my mate Ryan. That's the last of them. them Oops. You'll never forget the sight. So much blood. The ground was so deep. Devastation all around you. Look what Kazuma Sasakai did. The butcher of Iki. Quiet. More fireworks to the west. We can't keep this up forever. Let's go. I imagine that I'm having hallucinations and stuff. Keep moving. He's very weird, Tenzo, because it's like he cares about me, but then the next minute he's arguing with me. It's very weird. Obviously, he would have a strained relationship with me, being that I am a samurai, and he also knows that I'm a Sakai as well. We'll hold back the invaders as long as we can. 
Are oh, they still building up the defences? Yeah, because we're going to fall back like over there or something if too many men come and we're going to do like our last stand there. I don't see them. Might be an ambush. Let's take a closer look. They've captured the lookouts. Hang back. I can sneak in. Surprise the Mongols. Oh, I can definitely do that. Now, my phone's going ape shit in this video. I do apologise if you can hear all that. <laughs> What's that? Is that a banner? Oh, a Sakai banner. Sweet. Man, I need to put my phone on silent if it carries on. Ah. There's, like, there's some over there. Oh, there's two over there. Oh, there's also some over there. So they've taken our uh, boys hostage. All right. Well, we can we can try and get a few cheeky. Uh... This might Assassin's Creed. Getting a lot of arrows as well. And we've also nearly got our ghost stance ready. Oh, alright. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. It's safe over here though. Beautiful. Now, right in the back of the neck. Oh, I could feel that one. Where? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, sweet. Oh, we did that very well. Took like down, what, like seven men or eight men without being seen? I love that chain assassination. Oh, that's beautiful, that is. You'll be free soon. I thought I was dead. Thank you. All fireworks on all sides. The Eagle Tribe's making its move. There are too many of them, and we're spread thin. We're out of time. Everyone, get to the horses. Retreat to the tower. We'll face them there. Lead the way, samurai. Fall back. Fall back. Lead the way, samurai. Gosh, she changed her tune, didn't she? Didn't want to work with me. Now she wants me to lead the crew. <laughs> I've got my ghost stance ready as well. Yeah, but we're falling back over here now. You see where those like arrows are, those fire arrows, or where they are, those bombs? That's where we're going to. So we've set up a little defensive area there to fall back to if we got overwhelmed. There's a bunch of baddies over there. Don't want to run into these pokey things. That's what they're there for, to stop horses. Here are boys. I hope I'm killing the right enemies. I can hear a shaman somewhere. Oh, there they are, look. You see that, like, little glow that's around their body? That means they're being, like, buffed up by the, uh... By the shaman. There we go. I really love these kunais. I need to upgrade them with that last bit of damage. Watch out!
Do you like that, mate? Oh, God. Who did that? Who shot me in the bum? Right, who, look at that. You can't just shoot people in the bum, okay? I mean, I can, but you can't. Man, the animations in this game are very nice. Not on the level of The Last of Us Part 2 nice, but still very fucking nice. I think mean, they're very good at making like very fast combat. Because you think about it, Sly Cooper's a very fast paced game despite being like a stealthy game. There's a lot of fast mode stuff in that game and combat. And it's very similar with Ghost of Tsushima. Reinforcements on the way! Kill them all! Oh, let me uh Oh no! Wrong button. No. Yeah, fuck you. I'm just shooting everyone at the moment. If you're a baddie or a goodie, it don't matter. You're going to get shot. Oh, they're running. Oh, what bunch of pussies. And they outnumber us. I love this so much, this game. I mean, I really do. Such a sublime game. Except when I play badly, then I don't like it. <laughs> Just like every game. Brilliant until you play bad. And then blame the game for your own crappy gameplay. <laughs> there, run, you bitches! Give chase! Cut them down! May your death benefit all beings. Jin? May your death benefit all beings. I've heard that before. From my father's killer. You're hearing things? It's the eagle's poison. Say the prayer for yourself before I end your life. Do it. On this blood-soaked ground where your father massacred hundreds. He was trying to save lives. You knew who I was, what you did to my father. You lied to my face. You lied to yourself. Your father was my enemy, not you. <laughs> How did someone so worthless defeat Kazuma Sasaki? I don't know. I... Luck! He... he slaughtered dozens of us before we brought him down. Broke his leg, I think. All I did was finish the job. Get on with it, Samurai! Not yet. You killed my father by luring us into an ambush at Senjo Gorge. That's how we're going to kill the Eagle. We need more than the two of us. Talk to Fune. They meet me near the canyons. We can't hide who you are anymore. But if I tell Fune... Do it. Tell her I'm Jin Sakai. She knows I fight for Iki. My actions prove it. Tell her I am not my father. If I was, you would be dead.
That was quite the celebration, wasn't it? That was quite the celebration. After winning a glorious battle and keeping Fune's refuge safe, it then ends with us finding out that Tenzo was the one that killed our father. Brilliant. Brilliant. I love it how Sora walks over and comforts you when you've had like, or whatever you've named your horse in your playthrough. I love it how the horse just walks over and comforts you. Look at Jin keeping his hand on the horse. That's adorable. I love you, Sora. Man, I want a horse. What for more fits? Watch my videos more. The more you watch my videos, the more money I get, then I can buy a farm and I can have a horse. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make videos of my horse too. And you can visit and you can see my horse. It's a win-win for all of us. <laughs> all right, well, I'm gonna to have to end the video now, Wolf Morfet. So I think what we're gonna do next time is, um, I think we will probably head back to Fune's refuge. And I think we might have a chat with this guy over here who's talking to a group of people and we'll do this mythic towel. And we're also going to get a new armor set. I probably won't use the armor set because I like the armor I'm using at the moment. But uh, I'll probably do that mythic towel. And then maybe we'll do some more story stuff and then we'll do this mythic towel. Or maybe we'll do this one next actually because you get the Sakai horse armor and I will actually use that. So maybe we'll do that in the next video. We'll have to see. Uh, but yeah. Thanks for watching Wolf Wobbits, hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully the commentary was okay in the previous video and this video, because uh, yeah, like I said, I've been, I've been roasted by the sun and I'm, I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit, you know, a bit of heat stroke or whatever it is, or heat exhaustion, whatever it is, I'm feeling a little bit, ugh, <laughs> so hopefully the commentary was still okay. But yeah, thanks for watching, you beautiful bastards, like, share, and join the pack today.